Hey and welcome back and first of all I missed you all now after creating 99 videos for my previous course Swishwise Sessions for Beginners which actually has a part 2 coming out soon after this course I'm about to announce I'm excited to announce my next free course which I'll be guiding you through with daily videos called Swift UI iOS Take Home Test so this course will cover everything that you need to prepare for a Swift UI iOS take home test or project when applying either for your first or your next job, as well as teaching you all the fundamentals you need to build an iOS project fully in Swift UI. So I'm someone as a lead developer, I've actually given people take home tests to do, and I've also done a take home test myself. So a lot of the experience that I'm going to actually be giving you in this free course is a lot of my own experience of faces, things that I've tackled and also things that I look out for when actually interviewing candidates. Now it's worth noting that for this take home test course, these videos will be released daily and I'll be, I'll be sharing an update in terms of improvement for how we can actually tackle our project each day so we can look at how we can get the best out of our code and make it reusable, scalable, and just really nice. So what are we gonna be building? Well, we'll be building this app that you see here. Now this is just a app that uses the request API and as you can see, it fetches data from an API. You can actually push to a screen to get users details and open up links as well. You can also, if you go back into the app, you can also go back to the list with the navigation as well as creating new users. Now on this screen, we're also going to have basic validation. So if someone actually fails to input the correct information, we'll show some kind of alert. So what we're going to do now is submit the data as you can see. And after submitting, we get some feedback to tell us that everything was okay. And we simply just have a setting screen where you can play around with haptic feedback. So you may be wondering, who is this course for? If you're someone who is completely new to SwiftUI, then I'd recommend you check out my course, SwiftUI Sessions Beginners, which covers all the fundamentals needed to learn SwiftUI for complete beginners for free. Now, I'm going to assume that you know what you're doing with the basics of SwiftUI in this course. So this course is actually aimed at people who want to get some practice and prepare for job interviews, learn the best practices and how to approach take home tests, learn how to break down and tackle a brief and a set of requirements, learn how to handle questions and explain their solutions in interviews, look at how to build a solid Swift UI app with a solid architecture that is scalable. It's for someone who's also interested in integrating new technologies from WWDC, which has just happened a couple of weeks ago, and also wants to integrate the new updates to iOS 16 that are available to us in Swift 5.7 and Swift UI 4.0. So what we will be learning in this course? Well, in this course, you'll be learning a whole bunch of different topics which will cover all the fundamentals needed to build a solid and scalable Swift UI project, whilst also learning how to tackle a take home project when you first get them and interview questions. So just to give you a glimpse into some of the topics that we'll cover, we're going to look at how to break up, break down a project and set it up as well as tackle a brief and break it down break down what is a rest api and how we use them building reusable components in swift ui making network requests to our rest api with both get and post requests to see the differences between the two mvvm architecture breakdown unit testing error handling using the new swift concurrency async away api in swift ui and many more so as you can see, this is jam packed with a load of content for you to learn. So you'll literally learn everything that you need to get started with a take home test in Swift UI. Because we're going to be covering so many topics, this course will follow a specific order to help you easily grasp all of the topics that you need to know. Now, what we're going to do is because in a real life situation in a take home test, you actually might not get a lot of time. For example, some take home tests, you might only have four hours, whilst others, you may have up to 48 hours. There's only so much you can do with the time that you're given when attempting to build an app in four hours compared to 48. They're gonna be very different in terms of the quality. So the way we're going to tackle this is we'll start off by learning and building the fundamentals that you should nail for your take home project. Then what I'll do within the course is I'll give you a flag of things during this course that I consider 
bonus content. Now, you should 100% learn this bonus content since you have the time, this will actually help you stand out from the rest of the crowd since you'll be applying topics that go beyond what is expected in the brief. And you'll also show your knowledge in building iOS apps in SwiftUI. So make sure that you watch all the videos in this course so you're properly equipped to tackle any of the challenges given to you when you need to start a take home project. We'll also be writing out code and refactoring it as well as discussing the benefits of each stage so you can understand the why we're doing certain things. The final project will be shared at the end of this course with all the source codes so you can actually learn all the best practices. Now once we actually get towards the end of the course as well, because this video was made right after WWDC 22 which has some amazing updates to Swift UI and Swift, this course will actually be built using iOS 15 as a minimum support since at the time of this recording iOS 16 isn't currently out. But what it will feature at the end is a free set of updates and videos in place where we can use some of the new APIs offered to us in SwiftUI 4.0 and Swift 5.7 to make sure that your project is compatible with both iOS 15 and iOS 16 plus. So we've spoken a lot about SwiftUI and how we're going to be using it for this free course and you may be wondering why no UI kit? Well if you watch the platform state of union you'll see that Apple actually say in bold letters that the best way to build an app is with Swift and SwiftUI. So learning SwiftUI now will actually give you a head start and better equip you for the future where SwiftUI will be the industry standard when you're building iOS applications. Now, how can you support? So if you want to actually help and support the channel because you like my content or appreciate this new course, where well you can do this by very easily supporting me for free. And if you want to support me by free, all you got to do is to share this course so you can share this playlist, this YouTube playlist, which is this course here with others for anyone that you may think may be interested or just if you enjoyed it in general, tweet about it, share it on Reddit, you know, just get it, just get the word out there. Also, you can like, comment and also subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow, to help support the channel for free. So these are a few ways you can help support the channel for free. Now, if you do appreciate my content and would like to donate some monetary value, first of all, thank you. And you can actually do this by donating through coffee, which you can see on the screen here with this QR code. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can actually give me a super thanks on YouTube, which is almost like a tip. Now, both are appreciated. So that's everything in this video. I'm really excited to get you stuck in and actually teach you some new concepts of how you can actually tackle an iOS take home project for free. And if you really do enjoy this video and you enjoy this course, I'd appreciate if you shared it, like I said before, as well as, you know, liking this video, commenting with what you're excited about. I'd love to hear what you're excited about in this course. And also subscribe to the channel, as well as hitting the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.